Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Blue Ridge Silverhound. I'm your host Sean for this video and today we have a uh, kind of thought-provoking subject that I wanted to bring to the forefront of the collecting community and that is uh, scammers being scammers on eBay. All right, and um, the real question that kind of comes to my mind, and, and ever since I, I read about this on one of the community forums, actually, as a matter of fact, it was uh, Coin Talk, uh, which I've been a member of for over 10 years. The real question is who's to blame for all of the opportunistic sellers on eBay? Now, I would say for as long as I've been dealing off and on, with eBay, uh, which has been pretty much since the turn of the century, for crying out loud, so it's it's been quite a while. Um, I would say that I've never had someone that has personally come out and actually admitted that they are purposely trying to deceive people to try and, you know, gainfully monetize from... Uh, stupidity i guess or not knowing <laughs> I, I guess the uneducated um and it's it, honestly it, it's it's like a slap to the face so i'm on ebay right now we have this coin right here um you've probably been just kind of scratching your head uh, first of all at the actual listing title um rare world war ii 1943 steel weight penny coin D Denver mint monetary currency money uh, I'm gonna tell you this right now he just changed it because it wasn't Denver before he actually put Detroit uh, believe it or not and um, one of the guys on coin talk had gone on and sent him a message you know just saying hey as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and bring it up right here. So this was the communication thread. It only went back back forth once. The D is for Denver, not Detroit. Do you know anything about coins? All right, and this, as you can see, it's the same seller. Hip Hop Scholar uh, has actually, you know, decent feedback. Um, I know a lot about eBay. I know a bunch of uninformed chumps buying overpriced stuff especially new buyers that don't know how to use ebay to find out the real market value of items now that is super brazen right there and um it's crazy that that this person said this all right the one thing i'll tell you right now i have a lot of new viewers to my channel okay a lot of them are new to coins and currency all right, that's just the world we live in. You, you discover something new for the first time. One of the places you go to to find out more is YouTube. All right, so the question is, is YouTube to blame for some of the misinformation that a lot of these sellers are utilizing when they're going to going about their business with eBay? All right, so... You know, it could be that the YouTube community, a lot of the channels that do coin type stuff, all right, there could be a lot of cross communication right there. Um, and self admittedly, I, you know, I might be part of the problem. I don't know. Um, but there is a lot of people doing coins on YouTube, and um, it could very well be uh, the big issue. I don't know. But you guys know, all right? You guys probably have searched many other channels uh, revolving around coins. Okay, you guys tell me. I would love to hear what some of the other, I guess, quote-unquote competition is saying about numismatics. All right, so there's a lot of opportunity to really lose sight of what this hobby is about. All right, grading identifying errors and varieties what exactly is that you know there's a it, it could go on and on and on and on i could tell you this right now modern coins appeals to newer people have you looked at my channel i don't talk a lot about coins from the 1800s or 1700s because a lot of people aren't interested in those even though the prospect of finding one 
is certainly out there, all right? But I don't talk about it because people don't want to hear it. And I've heard it and heard it and heard it from various viewers, you know? Oh, I don't care about this 1890s crap that you got going on here. I want to know more about these brand new quarters, all right? So there you go. A lot of it has to do with just the new clientele base, the new collectors out there, and what is easily accessible to them and that's newer coins that's understandable but i've been integrating a lot of older coins into my channel slowly but surely i've integrated more stuff like you see here this 1943 uh lincoln steel cent which is probably one of the most famous coins in numismatics all right because it's a one-year date happened during world war ii they were trying to ration out copper for the war efforts so they went and did this zinc plated steel coin um, that has captivated a lot of people's attention even to this day newer collectors as well so anyways hip-hop scholar went on and said that and what i wanted to do is go ahead and check out some of his other items um and just, I mean, he's got 98.2, so he got dinged here recently. All it takes is one negative feedback, but we're not going to concentrate on that. So let's go ahead and visit his store, and let's see what else he's got going on here. So as you can see, he sells other items, um, you know, not just coins. I, I don't know anything about a lot of this stuff, you know, two-way radios and car parts and Things of that nature, you know, uh, I, I mean, is coins his number one love in all this? No, obviously. So, so he's kind of a jack of all trades. So right here, a 2000 Sacagawea dollar, they sell for $276.79. A rare Philadelphia minted coin. I dare one of you. To go ahead and hit the buy it now for this. There were 17 people watching. Why? Oh, and look at that. He discounted it for from $345.99. So, you know, that, that's outrageous. But if we were to kind of go on down the line, he, you know, he, he's got, what is this? I don't know. It's a Jordan's box. Size 13, but it's only 11 bucks. What does he have in there? Just an empty box? Yeah, he's just selling all sorts of, you know, other things. His other listings might be okay, but when it comes to coins, uh, that's not his strong point. And of course, he, he even said himself that he, um, he knows that people are naive, you know, up to a point. But... This is all of his collectibles. He sells everything. Uh, you know, he probably scours through uh, antique shops and um, garage sales and things like that for, you know, some pretty intriguing items. Okay, and that, that's fine. But for him to say that, oh, man, man. Um, that, that message I just showed you, is going to be etched in every single one of your brains. And unfortunately, it's going to hurt Hip Hop Scholar's business. A little bit. Especially when it comes to the coin side of things. Now, before you guys start, you know, throwing around the torches and saying, Oh yeah, I am impeding on this guy's livelihood. He just said in a message that he is taking advantage of people who are not educated in certain things coins being one of them okay and that's why he had a stupid Sacagawea dollar for nearly three hundred dollars all right so here's a a case study of an individual who knows that they were doing something wrong so how about someone who is just truly uninformed uneducated when it comes to coins well there's a seller here okay joseph lynn joseph lynn 2012 um Feedback score is commendable, 536. I don't know if it's 100%. But uh, there's there's a lot of coins on here, okay? There's 362 total listings. And I went from the highest first to the lowest. Now, what have I always said about 
listing your coins on eBay. Okay, one of the most important components is photos. All right, so if you're trying to sell a coin, in this case, a 1969S Lincoln Penny rare fin, I don't know what the fin is, there's only one of these in stock. Well, for your store, there is. $1,500 or best offer with $4.20 shipping. Well, first of all, I would just pay for the shipping. That would be free. Um, but what exactly are we getting for for $1,500? I mean, um, the, the coin obviously has been cleaned because it's brown with spots of cleaned areas on the coin. Um, I mean, it's a dead giveaway for something that is just manhandle but what exactly are we trying to buy here um for fifteen hundred dollars okay it's obvious e even if i were to get in close to the actual images on this particular listing it's not ddo number one and even if it was you wouldn't be selling it for fifteen hundred dollars this would be something that would be probably fifteen thousand dollars even in this condition so we've uh, established that this one is just not as advertised rare fin i i don't know what the rare fin is guys what do you guys think um details vintage from 1960s double die first of all you left that other d off of double the die obverse get it fast ship in one to three days okay <clears throat> so yeah I, I mean they're in new york uh, that really doesn't say anything um it's a nice area for, you know, business people and all that. Uh, but as you can see, the the listings is ripe with a lot of stuff that's not worth the money that's being advertised. Now, is this individual going out to maliciously take your money of the uneducated? Probably not. I think this is more, more along the lines on the other side of the spectrum, as in not educated enough to be able to sell these correctly and again this is probably all as a result of what's available online the information age right now can either be a good thing or it can be just a bad thing a horrible experience because you're being led down one path in which it's like hey this is what it is we're funneling it in there and you get two people that are telling you professionals that are telling you otherwise the contrary and then it's like oh man well you know this one individual told me that these coins are worth so and so money okay and then oftentimes it's going to be some youtuber all right i mean it could be me so some of the information i give off i i try to be as hundred percent as um as possible just the information has to be correct all right if a coin i say is like hey it could be worth up to five grand well there's a there's certain things that need to happen to get there is it as easy as abc's and one two threes or is it something that's going to take a lot of hard work and dedication and eagle eye and spending money to make money i, I mean there's a lot of things that go into it and it's not as clear cut as some make it to be it really isn't um being a coin dealer number one is probably one of the hardest jobs you'll ever do okay even though the money can be pretty big in the business uh it takes a lot of research dedication you need to build a um portfolio of business because a lot a lot of what coins is is you have repeat customers coming back to them all right and ebay is probably one of those places there are a few sellers that i trust that i continuously go back to one is for supplies another one does silver bulk you know i mean there's a reason why that we go to modern coin mart or atmex for bullion all right is because they are trusted they are one of the pricing leaders Plus, their shipping and customer service is second to none. All right? Um, so, you know, it, it's it's one of those things where you have to build from the ground up. You can't expect overnight celebrity. So, you know, just going on down the line, I mean, we have a lot of coins that are cleaned. Obviously, 
This person doesn't know that cleaning is bad. Cleaning absolutely ruins coins. Um, you know, if a coin was worth a dollar and then you cleaned it, then it's probably worth that five cents, right? Um, but as you can see, a 75 Roosevelt dime for 975 bucks, you know, people are generally mistaken because there's, there's a really expensive Roosevelt dime variety that's missing the mint mark, but that's only in the proof sets, not on business strike coins. All right. And generally a lot of the business strike coins are coming out of change, out of bank rolls. And those coins will not have a mint mark anyways, if they're produced in Philadelphia. All right. Um, but the pictures play a huge factor and you're really, you know, you, you have to be a salesperson when you're typing up these listings, like every single listing, there's only one of these in stock. Of course, you could only sell one of that type of coin because in itself it's unique. Okay. It's got a unique toning pattern or it's graded uniquely. Um, but the, this this ladies and gentlemen this seller right here uh, is just uneducated when it comes to coins and um i don't think she is actively trying to deceive anyone uh, but there is a lot of listings and i don't think she's really selling a whole lot of them but she's trying her hardest by god she's got almost 400 um listings on on her ebay account so there, there is a difference between one seller and the other, okay? Again, just to recap, I mean, you have someone that obviously, through the power of me messenger or, <laughs> uh, you know, just send it, sending sending a, a message and then they go out and blatantly say that, yeah, I, you know, <laughs> there are a lot of uneducated people out there. I'm trying to take advantage of that. That's... I mean, nobody really say, says that. If they are scamming, they're not going to go out there and just like, oh, yeah, yeah, you caught me red-handed. Um, like these five quarters. Anybody has 250 bucks to spare to try it out? Uh, I mean, we got some pretty nice rare, well, quarter is spelled wrong, but you, you, it's spelled wrong here, too. Oh, and here, too, and here. Oh, man. Anyways, yeah, I, I wanted to uh, blow a little steam, and sorry you guys that are uh, out there um, trying to figure all this out. Believe me, I, through 1,200 videos, there are some of you that are brand new that are going to come to my channel and probably be thoroughly confused about coin collecting and how to approach it, and that's fine. Um, but one thing you got to keep in mind is don't pretend you get it right away. You need to find... The subject matter experts the best way that you can okay usually I tell people okay you you found us on YouTube why don't you go on Facebook join up on one of these coin community groups or go online join a forum like coin talk coin community are very friendly they're open to new people coming in and being students you have to be a student for me I've been in the business for 25 years. I am still a student to this day. So I don't pretend to know 100% there is to know about coins. And with that being said, that's that's where we end up at is, you know, with a dog barking in the background here. <laughs> uh, but I want to thank everyone for joining in. Um, th this is more of a rant than anything else. Hopefully you guys got a little bit of takeaway, you know, on this, like, uh, you know, it's something to chew on, that's for sure. I don't know how quite it's going to go from here on out. I mean, I expect to see more sellers that are um, one or the other, okay? They're the malicious, we're trying to scam you type, or the ones that are uneducated. You just have to identify and then do your research. That's important as a buyer. Uh, but anyways, I'm your host, Sean, with Blue Ridge Silverhound. Hopefully you had a good time here taking a stroll down the old screenshot lane. Um, Coinaholics, we are discovering together. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell for instant notifications. And as always, next time, guys, we are discovering together. Did I just already say that? Oh, probably did, but anyways. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time on the next coin video. Take care.